menopause, from the brain's perspective, menopause is part of a continuum that involves puberty and pregnancy. I call them the three Ps. Puberty, pregnancy, perimenopause. They're very similar. They're much more similar than we are led to believe. So what happens in puberty is that there's this explosion of hormonal power that marks the end of a woman's reproductive life and her ability to bear children. Now what happens in the brain during puberty, however, it shrinks. The brain gets smaller. There are a lot of neurons that are simply discarded because at that point, the brain is more mature. It's much more efficient for a brain to have fewer neurons that are very well connected and that are really needed because the brain is the most metabolically expensive organ of the body. So it's really expensive to just keep all those neurons. And if you don't need them, it's best for them to go. So you can now tie up your shoes by yourself. You can ride a bike. You know how to read. All these little neurons that were necessary to guide you through every single step can go. And this is a phenomenon, it's called pruning. That could be a little bit scary because you're like, wait a minute, I'm losing brain cells? That sounds dangerous. But no, in reality, it's like the brain getting leaner and meaner, if you will, and really optimizing for efficiency relative to volume. So bigger is not better necessarily when it comes to your brain smaller and more connected and more efficient is better. Now, what happens with puberty, however? There's a higher risk of depression, of anxiety, of sweating, of changes in body temperature, of brain fog, for sure, as you go through pregnancy. Pregnancy, explosion, estrogen is all over the place, progesterone balloons, all these hormones just give you a huge amount of power. A lot of women who are pregnant notice that their hair grows bigger and stronger. Well, so do your brain cells. There's a big change in the pregnant brain, in the mommy brain, where some neurons get stronger, there is a rewiring of the brain, and the brain shrinks. So you go through pregnancy and postpartum, the brain actually first shrinks, and then either grows back a little bit or plateaus where it is. So the mommy brain comes with brain fog, it comes with anxiety, it comes with reduced focus. There are all these things that are changing that we interpret as a problem, but we don't realize that that same brain is able to wake up at three in the morning and warm up a bottle while nursing a kid, while answering emails, while, you know, th there are these super complex mechanisms that actually grow and develop as a woman goes through pregnancy. And then we come to menopause. Menopause is the same exact system that is changing once again. In this case, your fertility ends. Yes, it's true. However, there's more to a woman than fertility. And I think this is really, really important that we start to rechange this narrative around menopause, where in Western societies, menopause is just the end of fertility and is the beginning of old age. And I think this is such a dismissive, reductive, and nonsensical way to look at women's health. There is so much more to women than fertility and our ability to bear children. And the vast majority of women these days lives at least another 30 years after menopause. We spend at least another third of our lives in a postmenopausal stage that can be vibrant, that can be sexy, that can be happy, that can be just a wonderful time in a woman's life.